Hello lovelies, I am the Frognostic, and tonight's Let's Slay is a new free-to-play horror on Steam, going by the ominous alias of Bloodwood Reload. Mystifying, isn't it? Are we commanding an ally by the name of Bloodwood to reload? Or have we merely spied blood, telling our friend Wood to reload as a precaution? Or have we encountered the fearsome Bloodwood? Or it's lesser cousin, the blue dwu, and now, of all the fucking times, Dre will not load. Damn you, Dre! Damn you to hell! <laughs> Alright, my Spanish isn't quite as good as my Wookiee. But so I'll, uh, I'll give it a whack. Uh, in a small town in Central Europe, something is happening. The forest that grows around it has something different. Uh, the wood is a reddish color, unique to the world. This uh, is not lost on one of the largest lumber companies on the planet, the White Wood Company. You are one of their best men and without hesitation, are sent to the scene to secure the rights of exploitation. So like login rights, basically. Uh, upon arrival at the village, a chill runs down your back. Your intuition tells you it will not be easy and your intuition never fails. There you go. Sort of made sense, didn't it? It's not word for word, but uh, well, let's just hope there's a language swap available here or this is gonna be a long fucking video. All right. To combine objects, you must click on the first object. All right. It's just saying to click between objects to combine them. Nothing technical there. Right then. Speak on fucking English, chief. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Right, let's go and exploit some yokels. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Movement's very, uh, it's like I'm on roller skates. It takes a second to knock the brakes on. Oh, maybe I am. You gotta remember, these people have never seen roller skates. They'd be terrified. Give the half man, half cart whatever login rights he wants. If he promises not to blight their crops. Let's see here. Uh, Streetlights full of bugs. It's probably dinner for these people. That should be fairly easy to overpower. Beer barrel, that's what I'm saying. A beer barrel. Thank you, Frank. An old cart, let's see. It's a cart full of straw, it looks very smooth. Could it be used as hair in a disguise, Frank? Hmm? Should I need to conceal myself as a woman folk later on? Here we are, first object of the game. And I'm willing to bet we can jimmy open the beer barrel with this, get shit faced, and test drive some brutal cultural epithets I came up with on the 19 hour donkey ride down here. There we are! Done! It is open! Now drink, Frank. Drink the sweet nectar within. Y yes, Frank, but. Can I get up the ladder? Can I. Yes. No, not really, not at all, because you can't climb ladders on roller skates, the theory holds up. There's Agent 47 disposing of some strangle wire, let's go and confront him about it. What's up 47, what ranking you going for, silent assassin? Or blood drunk elephant. Nice disguise. Where's the real priest? Guards! Kill this fool! Guards! Oh no, this must be the tutorial level. You can slay without repercussion. Thankfully he's busy though. Press left stick to walk, A47. Eh? Am I right? He knows. There's a roadman door. As locked here. Fuck off beating me up, fam. What did you bury round here? 
Vad så ju. Okej, lovely. Hey priest. Hey. Look what I found. You want it back? You better dance for it, priest. What's better than it unlocks the church door? I'd say excellent. I'm not going to enter with this guy there. For fuck's sake. Alright, hang on. Turn around. Yes or no, but now you're being busy looking this way. Yes? Better keep an eye out. Never know who's gonna try and break into your precious... Oh, come the fuck on! What do we got here? A yokel? A simpleton? Why will nobody talk to me? Let me work in. Alright, Lenny. A stone! Finally! Could be useful. I'll take it. Go ahead, Frank. We're within our rights. I'm guessing what we have to use it on is within about two foot of us going by the previous puzzles. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Nice bit of tree flesh there. And we'll uh, approach it, Esther, so she can send. Yeah. Let's go put the lid back on that beer barrel, shall we? Well, this is a uh, fire hazard. Should find something here to stick the beer in, I imagine. She does not avert his gaze from the bottles. Oh, the hours we could debate the meaning of that fucking sentence. What are you, Esther? Man? Or former man? Hello, stranger. My name is Frank Bates. I've reserved a room at this inn. Hello, Frank Bates. My name is Esther. M Mrs. Esther. <laughs> Why have you come to our village? That's a lovely dance, Esther. It's not a mating ritual, is it? We'll tell her the truth. I love me some forest, Esther. I've come to take it away from you. Which trees would you be interested in? All of them, Esther. Building a ship. Come away with me, Mrs. Esther. Who's in charge of this toilet? Village mayor? We don't have a mayor. The person in charge in this village is the parish priest. You will find him near the church. Your room is upstairs, but if I were you, I'd leave this village very soon. There's something strange happening here, in this village. There is a very ancient legend that haunts this place. You can try to talk with Travis, the farmer. Maybe he can tell you more about this legend. Good luck. Uh, good luck is right. It's got the vocabulary of a Tickle Me Elmo doll. Minus the laughter. What? Esther, I found some wood on a tree and the game mentioned you in a horribly mangled sentence. You have nothing to do. Your existence is empty, Esther. Esther, come on. Take the bitter tree. What's in your cupboards? Nothing. It's all a sham. Esther! Good lord, she's built like a brick shit house. That'll do. That'll hold me some beer. A fountain. <laughs> oh, Frank, you card. Esther, my face is stuck in the stairs. Help! But uh, it's okay, Esther. I got it. Night, Esther. All right, let's see what White would have put me up in here. Well, there's only one room, Frank. So you better fucking hope so. Very nice. Very nice. Here's me, Lou. I'll just make toilet now. I'll leave it outside for Esther. Matches! Yes, please. Who does not carry matches in your pocket? You justify it however you want, Frank. I'm on your side. Time for bed. It seems to be a rather uncomfortable bed. Yes, indeed. And if I'm not mistaken, there appears to be an enormous 
piss stain in the middle of it. Esther, I'm going out. My toilet water needs changing. We've got some on the floor too. No, right here. You put some pants on. Let's get a tall frosty one for my new friend, the priest. Get him good and jolly and roll him in the river so I can loot his church. Perfect. How do, Holy Harry? Stole your beer. No? Hey, he's all the way over here now. <laughs> While the cat's away. What? Oh, come on. You let me dig up his fucking key right in front of him. You wouldn't notice if I shit on his shoes. I can get in and out of here. You want a beer, Travis? Hmm? No? Don't I believe that. Come on, Travis. Wife beating juice. Yum yum. You want this piece of wood, Travis? No? How about this rock? Come on, Travis. Help me out here. Look, Travis, my business... Oh, what am I doing? You can't fucking read. Break! God damn it! I need some bugs. I think they're the accepted currency in this town. I need some bribe money. What if I were to just leather you in the back of the head, Travis? Would it make you smarter? Because you can't get a negative IQ, can you? I better not. These farm folk have higher bone density than most plague pits. Wait, the oh fucking hell. There we go. Am I stupid for not figuring that out sooner? Or smart for taking it for granted that the wood sample would automatically go in the sample pot when my character picked it up, told me to go and give it to Esther? I will go with smart and hope there isn't a scenario where Frank fails to inform me that he needs to take a leak. Esther, I toileted on myself. She's doing that scary fucking dance again. Here you go, have that away. Okay, no problem, I send the sample copy to your laboratory now. That is a man. That's... You know where the giant moustache should be? That's a man. Right, now, hopefully, Travis will talk to me. There we are. Hello, man. <laughs> good, good evening. <laughs> Who are you? Do not fear me, Hayseed. I have a rock to trade for information. <laughs> what do you want? Tell me of your legends, Travis. Tell me of the cloud donkey that tows the great yellow ball through the sky each morning. <laughs> I'm Travis. Sorry, but I'm very hot and my mouth is dry. It's very hard work as a farmer, you know? Travis, what is it you, you think you're doing? And what's that down the front of your shirt? Oh god, Travis is farming himself. Drink, simple rube. Drink and tell Uncle Frank your tales. Wow, you bring me a cold beer? Man of thanks. That's right, Travis. Now has come the time for words. Yes? Arched eyebrows, frenzied nodding. Okay, young man. Legend has it that... Long in this place, dark rituals were practiced and even human sacrifices to ancient evil deities ago. There are still vestiges, vestiges, nice Travis, of these covens in the form of ruins deep in the forest. The blood of these sacrifices was absorbed by the Ethet and because of its trees were taking that characteristic reddish color. Of course, this is only a legend. No one could prove it. The legend also says that exists beneath the forest endless mazes by wandering souls of slaughtered and their blood flowing river as those caves. It also notes that there is a way to stop that river and restore peace to those poor devils. Uh, surely incredible. Yes, of course. But now I must back to work. Good luck. Fuck me, Travis. What is it you're growing out here? And how much for an ounce? 
Let's see if there's any truth to Travis's moonshine fueled gibberish about endless mazes. He's probably locked himself in an outhouse and panicked. Oh, there you go. There's your maze, Travis. Let's see what we got here. Woodcart. Frank? Some woodcart. Thank you, Frank. Or do I read that as some woodcart? You want to see the woodcarts back in my town? They're like fucking dinosaurs with wheels. Bloody knife. I'll have that. Just in case Travis mistakes me for a fucking Sasquatch. Alright, all done here. What is Harg? Uh, am I having a stroke? No, Esther, not like this! You're not Esther, old woman. Hello, young man. You're awake. Ah, oh, my heads. Who are you? What happens? That is not important now. You must listen to me. Did you hear? Another are trapped. <laughs> Maybe it's better that I leave now. No, do not move. Take this manuscript, you who do not believe. Nice. You are in danger. The man in black is their leader and shaman. In this village, it seems as if time has never passed. Everything has remained as before. Soon they will come back and take the blood of ignorance from one who does not understand. You must stop this. You must perform their rite. Now, take this book. It's the ritual book. What? You're crazy. Crazy? Uh, maybe. Go now, go now. This is a... Uh really escalated quite quickly isn't it the man in black who could that be four people in the village two of them men one wearing dungarees uh, esther hang about the priest's gone yippee time to steal me some jesus shits what oh, my tree sample! Esther, you bloody turncoats. I'll have that back. Oh, uh, I'm stuck. Oh, fucking hell, I'm not doing all this again. Pause and unpause. There we go. The sample! The pastor never took it to the post office. The man in black is their leader and shaman. The old witch was right. I must hurry. I'll take the wood sample. Now I need the ritual book to stop this nightmare. <laughs> what nightmare? What's actually happened here? I'll tell you what, you can steal beer and keys right in front of the people that own them. That's fine. But you shave off a bit of tree with a rock and everybody goes fucking ballistic. Oh dear. Is she hanging or doing witch shit? Let's see. Oh, she's dead. She'll be back. You have to burn them. Like zombies. And uh, gingerbread men. That's what we want. Which books? These books. Oh, which books? Etc, etc. Yo, no, it's the priest, and he's walking incredibly ineffectively towards me. Give him another second to be sporting, and we're gone. Whew, that was charitably close. I must block the door with summer. But what? God, what? What could it be? These? Could it? Oh, oh thank God. Oh. Right, I must go to the temple now. What temple? Do you mean the church? But God almighty. Yeah, it's not the church. Many books about something magical. I could not tell. I'm afraid of these things. 
What, books? <laughs> hey, we do have something in common with Travis. If it's not up here, I just couldn't fucking tell you. <laughs> oh no, she's still dead. There we are, path right next to the fucking house. Christ alive. Right, who's ready for a woodland ritual? I am, I am. Not you, Jimmy. Not after last week. First, we must give the gods wood. Then oil for their wood. Now the gods have oily wood. But it is not enough. We must set it ablaze. Duh. Just made a fucking mess of this, and I. Oh, no, there we go. The bloody knife. I can see it there. Whee! What the fuck is happening? Now the souls are safe. I'm sure it will not end here. Well, it does, Frank. No matter how fucking inexplicably, it does. Well, what could I say to that? A village with four people in. One's dead. One's locked in the other one's house. One runs the pub. One's afraid to leave his barn. Sounds like a riddle. Is a fucking riddle. But it's free, so... I really don't know <laughs> what to say. Shit on a window. There you go.